Yesterday when I was flying the drone on the way home, I must have damaged it crashing into a tree because the footage coming out of it afterwards looked especially shaky, so I'm just testing it right now before I leave. It looked about normal. I guess I'm just bad at flying. It is currently 10.30 and for the first time this week, I might not actually be late. I'm sorry if the audio sounds like complete garbage in this video. I switched out the microphones and I'm not exactly sure how this works. Hopefully it's not too bad though. Do you see the clouds behind me? They are so pretty. I really hope I can make a little bit of time out of my day to get a couple time lapses, but I have a pretty full schedule, so that might not happen. I'm done studying for the day because yesterday's workout was so bad. I am back at the gym again today instead of doing cardio It's quarter to 10 and I just finished a great workout. I am back at the supplement store. I don't come here every time I've done my workout. I just so happen to run off protein powder and they have a sale. The employee in that store was super helpful. I wish I got a name before I left. It is currently quarter past 10, finally headed home. Do you see that glowing orb in the distance? That's the moon. Today is such a great day. Everything's so pretty in the sky. So, um, I've been really failing to achieve the two goals that I set out for myself this semester, which is eating better and sleeping more. And the excuse that I've been using is because I haven't had the time. Which got me thinking, because excuses are kind of like problems. Everybody has them, but nobody really wants to hear about yours. I think to articulate this better, I need to draw a diagram. This is you. You are here. This is your dreams and aspirations. It goes here. In between is a whole bunch of work. And as you're on your journey to achieve your dreams, you're inevitably going to face challenges. You can either try to overcome them or you can make excuses and avoid them. However, the more excuses you make, the less likely it is for you to achieve your dreams because those excuses become barriers. Eventually, those barriers get so high, they end up giving up on your dreams and what's left is you being sad in the middle, surrounded by barriers. And the reason why I keep on making excuses is because for the longest time, recovery hasn't been the biggest priority in my life. Because we've been taught that working hard is good, but the hardest way isn't necessarily the best way. So from today on, I'm going to try to make less excuses on why I'm not sleeping well and eating well. Instead, just make it a bigger priority. Sorry, the reason why I'm whispering is because it's like midnight right now and everybody's asleep. So I should get to bed too. All right, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.